Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be talking about the column space of a matrix. So let's say that we have a matrix A. It is an M by N matrix, meaning that it has M rows and N columns. And we simply take the column space of this matrix A as the span of the columns. So literally, we just take the columns of our matrix, we'll call this V1, we'll call this V2, and we continue taking the columns all the way down to the last column, which we will call Vn. Whoops. So we can write the column space of A as the span of the set of vectors that compose this matrix, which are V1, V2, all the way down to Vn. So we just took the columns of our matrix and then we took the span of those columns and what we're left with is the column space of our matrix. So let's consider this matrix as an example. If I wanna find the column space of this matrix, what I do is I split up this matrix into its columns. So I'll refer to this column as V1, this column as V2, and this column as V3. And then as I said previously, we take the column space of our matrix to be the span of the vectors that are the columns of our matrix. So V1, V2, and V3. And I can write this out explicitly as the column space of A is equal to the span of the vectors 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 8, and 5, 3, 2. So what this is saying is that the column space of A is equal to all of the linear combinations of the vectors that make up the columns. So let's consider this matrix for an example. So the column space of this matrix, which we will call A, is equal to the span of the vectors that create the columns of this matrix. So 1, 0, 0 and 0, 1, 0. And if I were to plot out the span of this, I can do so by creating a three-dimensional coordinate axis. So we have our x, y, and z axes. And I can plot these vectors. So we have 1, 0, 0 right here. And we will call that v1. And then I have 0, 1, 0, which lies along the y axis. And we'll call this V2. So the span of these vectors is everything in the XY plane. So this XY plane that's spanned by V1 and V2 is the column space of our matrix A. So this plane that I have in red here represents all of the linear combinations of our columns. And this idea will become important later when we start discussing matrix equations and whether or not those equations are consistent or inconsistent. But we'll talk more about that later when we discuss the connection between column space and matrix equations. So another thing that I wanna point out is that the column space of a matrix is a subspace and it can be verified that a column space is closed under addition, it contains the origin, and it's also closed under scalar multiplication. So it is in fact a subspace. And in the next video, we're going to talk about finding a basis for the column space, or a basis for the subspace defined by the columns of our matrix. So anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later.